this video, we are going to learn how to construct an ogive for a set of grouped data and determine the quartiles. The frequency table on the right shows the sort content of 60 types of food. A. Construct an ogive to represent the data. For the first row, 100 to 149, the frequency is 4. But to construct an ogive, we need to start with frequency 0. So I will write class interval 100 to 149 in second row. What is the class interval for first row? Before 100 is 99. Okay, so you know from 100 to 149, the size of class interval is 50. So the lower limit for the first class interval is 50 with the frequency 0. Now we continue to fill in the other class interval which is 150 to 199 and so on. We also copy the frequency Still remember how to find upper boundary. To find upper boundary of first class interval, we look at upper limit here, 99. After 99 is 100. So upper boundary is the number between 99 and 100, which is 99.5. Next is 149.5, Okay, now we write the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency will accumulate all the frequency before. So here 0, 4 plus 0 is 4, 11 plus 4 is 15, 15 plus 15 is 30, 21 plus 30 is 51, 8 plus 51 is 59, 1 plus 59 is 60. After we completed this frequency table, now we are going to construct an ogive to represent the data. We start with horizontal axis and vertical axis. As you know, for horizontal axis, we will start with the first value of the upper boundary which is 99.5 149 199.5 199.5 199.5 349.5 and the last one is 
must remember to draw or dive the horizontal axis. You only can use the value of upper boundary. For vertical axis, we check the highest number of the cumulative frequency, which is 60. So we start with 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Okay, so after completed the horizontal axis, after we label the horizontal axis and vertical axis, now we start to plot the point. We start with 99.5 with cumulative frequency 0. 149.5 with the cumulative 4. Next is 149.5 with cumulative 4. Next 15, 30, 51, 59, and 60. After plotted all the points, you must use free hand to connect all the points. Now you can see this is N or Xi. Before we find the value of the first quartile, the median, and third quartile from the OJI, let us look at this diagram. Tiles are values that divide a set of data into four equal parts. So this is first quartile, which is one over four of the graph. Second quartile, actually we call it as median. Third quartile is 3 over 4 of the graph or 75% of the data. Now we are going to find the first quartile. Before we find the value of the first quartile from the graph, we use the formula 1 over 4 times the total frequency, which is 60. So 1 over 4 times 60 equals 15. From the graph, the first quartile is here, Q1. Here is 15. So the line touch to the object, then turn to the horizontal axis here, so you will get 199.5. So now we try to find median. How to find median? 1 over 2 of the total frequency equals 30. So from 30, you draw a dash line to the ogive. Until you touch to the ogive, then turn to the horizontal axis and find the value of the median. So the value of the median is 249.5. How about the quota? Actually, we use the same method. So first, 3 over 4 times total of the frequency 60 equals 45. Okay, so 45 is here. Here is 45. So from 45, to draw a line until touch to the graph and go to the horizontal axis. And you find the value of the quota here. Okay, so you must know a uh, 10 forces equivalent 
50 unit. So 50 divided by 10 equals 5. So one box equals 5. So here, 2 box is 10. So you count 259.5. Two hundred and sixty nine point five two hundred and seventy nine point five two hundred and seventy nine point five plus five is two hundred and eighty four point five. Okay, so the quota is 284.5 in 280. What is the meaning of the quota for this question? The meaning is the salt content of 45 types of food are less or equal to 284.5 milligram. That's all for today. Hope you understand what I taught you just now. If you feel that this video can help you, please like and share to your friend. Thank you.